iPads have changed the way pilots fly over the last decade. And in a world with ForeFlight and Garmin Pilot and all the other apps we've come to know, is there a place left for a portable GPS? Well, Garmin certainly thinks so. They recently released the new Era 760. It's a large screen, touch screen GPS made for the cockpit. Let's go fly with it, see what it can do. So what is the Era 760? In many ways, it looks like just a bigger version of the Era 660 that Garmin introduced about four years ago. And that's true. It is, a, at the end of the day, a touchscreen GPS navigator. But it's more than just that. So if you think of it as just in-flight moving map, you'll be surprised, I think, to find there's some other features in here that take it beyond that. For one, it's not a bad pre-flight tool. You can connect to Wi-Fi at the FBO or at your house. You can look at weather. You can look at METARs and a radar map over, over Wi-Fi. You can do database updates. There's also complete EFB tools here, so you can do uh, weight and balance calculations. You can view PDFs on here. You can uh, look at all your charts on here. You've got full VFR sectionals, IFR and route charts, instrument approach plates. So it's really a pretty solid EFB in addition to a navigator. So I mentioned you could use the 760 for pre-flight use. And while it's not a full-featured iPad-like electronic flight bag, it has a lot of those same features. You can use it for airport briefings, which has got a really great airport information page. Not just the basics like runway length and lighting and frequencies, but also the AOPA airport directory with really detailed information. It has fuel prices that can be updated online. It has all of your charts. It also has a whole bunch of those planning tools, so you can do wireless database updates on here, just like you would with an iPad. Garmin has an easy one-time uh, subscription fee on flygarmin.com. Then you can update all of your databases very easily with one touch. It even has an automatic download option. Of course, in-flight is where Garmin has always had the strongest features, and that's the truth here again with the Aero 760. Great data-driven moving maps here. You've got a VFR view you can look at. You have an IFR view you can look at. This includes airports, airspace, nav aids, terrain, pretty much anything you can think of you can overlay. And the maps automatically declutter. They're nice, vibrant colors. It's just optimized for the cockpit. One of the biggest enhancements with the Aero 760 is you have full instrument procedures. So you can load a flight plan in here just like you would on a GTN 750 panel mount navigator. You can put in a destination airport, then you can load an arrival, you can load a departure, you can even load instrument approaches. So from the active flight plan, you can tap menu and then select approach and then select the whether you want vectors or a particular transition. And it works just like you would in the cockpit. It's great on this big screen because the Aero 760 gives you a preview of the procedure. So if you can't remember which transition you want, it's very easy to look on here and see what the best option is. A couple of other features we really like on these Garmin portables is their smart airspace feature. This shows you only the airspace alerts that you really care about. So if you're going to be well underneath a Class B shelf, it still shows the airspace, but it's significantly reduced in its uh, color and its size, so you don't get all those nuisance alerts. Garmin also has their safe taxi diagrams on here. These are highly detailed airport diagrams for more than just the big airports. You can get a safe taxi diagram at many, many small general aviation airports. And in addition to runways and taxiways, it shows lots of details, including hold short lines for taxiways and runways, uh, FBO information, everything you need to navigate around an unfamiliar airport. There's also great terrain awareness and warning on these. Uh, you can even get transmission lines, so the, the long-running, large uh, power lines that can seriously be a threat for helicopter pilots or anybody else flying low level. That's another database option through flygarmin.com. And it sort of takes that terrain and obstacle warning to the next level. You get the, the warnings about mountains and hills, but also towers and now also wires. As you might expect with Garmin, there's great cockpit connectivity. You can connect to a GDL 50, 51, or 
portable device and get ADSB or Sirius XM weather. You can get traffic, GPS information, and AHARS for backup attitude. So with one of those portable receivers and an ARA 760, you really have a full information package. But you can also connect to a lot of cockpit avionics. So in this airplane, we're flying along with a Flightstream 510. That's a little smart SD card that goes into a GTN 750 and transmits from the panel AHARS information, flight plan information, and weather information. So with one of those, you really have your panel and your portable always in sync. Another thing Garmin does really well is their traffic display. When you're paired up to a GDL receiver or to a panel mount traffic system, you get Garmin's target trend view. This is more than just dots on a map. It shows you where the target is going relative to your aircraft. It's a great way for visualizing what targets are really potential threats and which aren't. The Air 760 is about the size of an iPad Mini. Not quite as large on the screen and it's a little bit thicker, but it's still a handheld device, so it's easy to carry with one hand. It's pretty good for kneeboard size as well. You can set the screen up to be either landscape or portrait orientation, and in a portrait orientation it really does fit on your leg quite nicely. So why would you use an Aero 760 instead of an iPad? Well, there are some features that are just better in a purpose-made aviation GPS. The Aero 760 screen, while not quite as big as an iPad Mini, is very bright and very low glare. It's just optimized for the cockpit. We're up fine today on a full sun day, no clouds anywhere, in a low-wing airplane, and you can still read the Aero 760 screen with no problem. Yeah, there's a tiny bit of glare in the worst sun angles, but overall it's very, very readable. The iPad, to be fair, is readable as well, but I think the Aero 760 screen is better in direct sun. It's also totally self-contained, has a built-in GPS and GLONASS receivers, built-in four and a half hour battery. So in a backup, it's a great all-in-one navigator. It's a, just a great purpose-made aviation device. For more information on the Aero 760 from Garmin, visit sporties.com slash Garmin. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.